Ah, uh, yes, we are back here on the 2016 Veterans Day Parade, live New York City, Fifth Avenue. If you're following us on Twitter, you can hashtag us at America's Parade and at America's Parade. And look at that vehicle. So, um, is, that, is that your weekend car right that's my, car? That's, that's my ride, Paul. Wow. We showed your hoopty back then. <laughs> uh, welcome to mine right here on Fifth Avenue. And I don't know. I'm not a car a connoisseur, but that's got to be. Uh, no? Is it a Lamborghini? I, I mean, think I, it's a Lamborghini. I'm not a car okay. expert, but I think wow. that is a Lamborghini. It's a, it's a Porsche and a beautiful there, Lamborghini yeah, right there. Yeah, that is there. a Lamborghini. It's pretty incredible as we look at it. And everybody, everybody in awe. All the men are just <laughs> in awe right now as they're looking at that beautiful And little do they know it's yours. Ride. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it was Absolutely. a tremendous Veterans Week here in New York City. On Wednesday, there was a tribute to those who served our nation and city on 9-11, uh, which was really a tribute to the 9-11 first responders who also served in the military. Yesterday, we had the Marine Corps birthday celebration down at the Union League Club, a formal celebration of the 241st birthday of the U.S. Marine Corps, and, of course, today, the Veterans Parade here in New York City. But, Paul, really, that's just the, the tip of the iceberg as far as this. It, it's the Veterans Week, but it's really two weeks, right? Well, and it goes even to the 17th. <laughs> 17th, yeah. The yeah. <laughs> but this was United War Veterans Council, Veterans Advantage. Yeah. And the, uh, Jerry Byrne, who does all the Marine Corps events, Scott Higgins is Veterans Advantage, and Vince McGowan, right. who we just heard from. Yes. They came together and said we should move all the honoring of veterans and military into one week. And then it ended up, there was so much going on in New York, we need more than one week. So we two weeks, we're going on to That's our third great. now. Hey, listen, you know what? They could do a month, uh, really, just celebrate you guys every, yeah. every day of the year as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and you, uh, you know, as an ambassador of this thing, you basically, you attend every event, don't you? I, tr I try to do as many as I can in New York during this period, but I also try to do one on average per month across the country somewhere. Well, let's take a look at the Purple Heart float presented by the History Channel. The Purple Heart is awarded to those wounded or killed while serving with the United States military. The Purple Heart is the oldest military award still given to U.S. military members. The National Purple Heart Hall of Honor is located in New Windsor, New York. Hello. <laughs> How are you guys? So nice to see you. How are you guys? Thank you. Thank you for being here. The Military Order of the Purple Heart, established in 1782 all the way to 1932. Thank you so much. So That's, terrific. Uh, their home, the Hall of Fame, is based on the Windsor Con 